M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So looking at the RT73, the GD88, and in the middle we've got the Editone 878. And these are just my thoughts on the new firmware update which came out October 2022. As you can see, nice and loud just as I talk. So the main thing I want to say is I am actually quite disappointed. I know they've brought out Talker Alias, which is a useful feature, but the real thing that we needed was the ability to get the volume down a bit lower uh, because we're forced to sort of hear quite a loud volume with the with both radios gd88 rt73 where the the 878 we can go into the menu and we can actually change the settings we can go to the max volume level select there and then look we've got the different levels so we can set it quite low so it's not too loud now, if i remember right they've even got an indoor setting here look and this is what we need with the GD88 and the RT73. We need to know that indoors we can get the radio nice and low. The other thing is the DTMF. We like to know we can type a DTMF in FM analog and activate our all-star node and other things. We do, there is DTMF within the digital side, DMR side, uh, in these radios, but there isn't on the analog. And I need to know, if I'm on Hubnet, I can just key the mic type my DTM off and then and then it will take me where I want to go. So that's it really. The other functions that they've added are that you can go into the menu menu while you're hitting TX and change settings, which you can. If you look here, I'm now able to change menus even though it's receiving. The downside on the RT73 is, is that when you are receiving that info, you have to hit the back button first before you can make your menu changes. And that's my thoughts uh, about the... Uh, about the firmware. The other thing they, that's needed on the GD88 is we need a single display. We can't select single display, we have to have dual display. Um, and sometimes we just want single. But otherwise, it's a beautiful radio and there's, it's packed with functions. Both these radios, I love using them. I love the microphone and the speaker microphone on the RT73. And they're not expensive radios, but at the moment they haven't ticked all the bugs or ticked all the boxes, should I say, to make people buy, choose the. GD88 over the 878, which I would still recommend as the the radio of choice because they've pretty much sorted out all the bugs. Although the GD88 is dual receive, and the fact that it's dual receive is quite a big thing because it's like having two radios. Even when you put the firmware in, you add two, the you add the firmware twice to the once to the A band, once to the B band, and that's because it's. It is two VFOs and you can have cross mode and all that. So that's why I use it a lot because a lot of the time I, the volume is fine for me, but not all of the time. Uh, but I am a fan of the of this GD88 or mine is the Kydera right now. And just to note that the Kydera 880 does it did on my radio accept the Radiolity GD88 new firmware. But that's at your risk. So 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. All the best.